So let's calculate the percent yield of this reaction if you started with 4.30 moles of propane and you ended up with 88 grams of carbon dioxide, 88.00 grams of carbon dioxide. Okay. So, the mass of carbon dioxide, 88.00 grams of CO2, and it said the number of moles of propane that we started out with was 4.3 moles of C3H8. Okay. So we're supposed to calculate the percent yield here of this problem. So how do we do that? Well, we're looking at the percent yield of carbon dioxide is what we're doing. Okay. So the first thing we've got to do is convert moles of propane to moles of carbon dioxide. Okay. So in order to do that, we say, well, there's a 3 to 2 ratio there. So 1 mole of C3H8 is equivalent to 3 moles CO2. OK? So what we're doing here is saying, if all of these reacted, so if this gave us maximum or theoretical yield, the amount of carbon dioxide we should have, mole, molar-wise, is 4.3 times 3, which is 12.9 moles of carbon dioxide. Okay, is everybody okay with that step? That makes sense? Doesn't make sense to anyone? One person? Yes. Okay, cool. So, how many moles of carbon dioxide do we have, though? Right? Well, we know the mass of carbon dioxide we have, right? So let's figure out the number of moles. So I'm going to erase this so I can write it up a little higher. So the mass of carbon dioxide was 88.00 grams of carbon dioxide. And we know that carbon dioxide, if we figure out its molar mass, 12.01, times 2, I'm sorry, 12.01 plus 2 times 16, 44.01 grams of carbon dioxide per 1 mole of carbon dioxide. So when I do that, 88 divided by that number, I get 2.01. O, O, O moles of carbon dioxide. So is that 12.9 moles of carbon dioxide? Not -uh. on. So how do we figure out, well, what percent yield did we get? So we're going to have to take this, divided by this, and multiply by 100%. Okay? So let's do that. So 2.00. So I guess, let's do it this way. Say, percent yield equals the part over the total times 100%, right? So here we've got 2.000 moles CO2, and we should have ended up with 12.9 moles CO2. So that'll cancel out moles of CO2. So divide that by 12.9 multiply by 100. And to three sig figs, I got a 15.5% yield on this reaction. Is everybody okay with that? So I think we should stop there, I think.